Hey folks, welcome to Kayak DIY. Here, myself and my father head off to iCast where we're going to be filming the latest products in paddle sports and fishing. Check it out. Hey folks, Kayak DIY here and right now I'm standing in front of the body glove booth. As many of you guys know, I have done some videos on my body glove performer which is an inflatable stand-up paddleboard. I have absolutely loved it. It's incredibly lightweight. You can take it anywhere. You could take it out on a plane, go on a trip with it. Uh, it's great for people that have you know, a limited amount of space, small cars, um, people that have RVs and maybe want to go on road trips. You just throw it in the back of your car or whatever and you go. Uh, so we're going to go over a little bit of what they have to offer here. There are some updates to their recent boards, things that my board doesn't currently have. My board cer has certainly served me well, uh, but they made some improvements, which is really nice. So we have right here, the Mariner XL. This is a board with a 320 pound capacity. It is a six inch thick board. Uh, these boards are very rigid. Don't let the inflatable aspect scare you away. Um, I have actually taken these boards, put them on sawhorses and stood in the middle and it had almost zero flex. It's very rigid feels very natural, feels almost like a hardboard. Now, coming over here and looking at the Mariner XL, we'll go from like top to bottom. You have an anchor point up there. You can run your anchor line through. This board is set up for fishing. You have rail blazer rod holders. The handle actually has an integrated bottle holder, which is something that's kind of unique to them. These boards also come with a cell phone carrying case that's waterproof, which is kind of a nice convenience. The board, the, the reason why it's so rigid is it has what they call a triple layer stringer. There's almost like a web of lines inside the board that helps keep it nice and tight. Right here we have a cooler on here. This is a pretty good sized cooler. Um, we have a Yeti and it has the strap down points. This thing isn't going anywhere and it acts as a nice seat. I actually had this out on the water um, earlier with the cooler and I'll cut to some of that footage here and you guys can see what that looked like. Okay, so this board is 11 by 34 inches by six inches. You have an inflatable valve system down there which is what you see on your inflatable stand-up paddle boards. You have a pump setup right here which is a dual stage so you got a single and a dual lever selector switch here. And how that works is on single, it's only gonna um, inflate when you're pumping it one way. But when you put it on two stage, as you go up and down, it's both inflating. So you can really inflate the board fast that way. So there's the pump setup. It comes with a paddle. And the paddle has actually markings on it for your height. It comes with a bag, and they actually made some improvements to the bag too to make it even more robust and durable for you. So that's a really nice feature. My previous model bag was working really well. Looking over here, we have another one of their boards. This here is the Outfitter. Has similar setup. It doesn't have the rod holders though, um, but it's gonna be also built very well. If you come to the back side here though, we can show the other update to the boards they're gonna have a more rigid fin my fins that were on mine were more flexible these ones are gonna be more rigid so you'll probably get a little bit better performance out of the board due to this update that is gonna be on their new boards we can also look here and body glove has a wide array of shoes and clothing and I actually have some of their shoes. This here are some of their uh, women's and uh, kids' shoes. And they're very uh, well-priced in the market, in my opinion. You get a lot of value for uh, what you're buying. Over here, though, they have what is kind of a, a stand-up paddleboard kayak hybrid. And what you're going to be able to do is you could stand up or you can actually sit down and you have these foot pegs here or foot rests so that you can paddle. My friend Ali X and I, we were out on this yesterday. He absolutely loved it. I absolutely loved it. I had no problem keeping up with some really expensive kayaks out on the water. Um, this thing really moves. 
It's incredibly lightweight. You also still have a fin system on the bottom. You're gonna have the same really durable, inflatable construction that you would have on the other boards, which I've been able to personally test, and I can attest to the durability of it. Uh, I live in an area that has a lot of oyster beds, sharp uh, seashells, I'm in a saltwater environment, and these boards hold up. Okay, so here's a look at some of the other shoes, uh, particularly in the men's section. I actually have the Dynamo Ribcage shoe. One of the things I like about the Dynamo Ribcage shoe is it has this exoskeleton right here, which for me, being around oysters, sharp rocks, it's held up really well uh, down here in the Florida Gulf. And it comes in at a really nice price point as well. Um, that's, that's the thing with Body Glove is, you get a lot for the money. Uh, it has a cinch up, um, there's no seam right here, or no uh, opening on the tongue. And so this piece of the shoe wraps around your foot really well and prevents like rocks and sand from getting in, which will really irritate your, uh, your feet. So in the design, there's a lot of features that make it a great water shoe. It has drains on the bottom here. It drains reasonably quick. This is a good shoe that is gonna be able to take you from on the water to on the streets and to the restaurants. So uh, one of the first shoes that I had a body glove I actually purchased um, at a local store and I had one of these. They came in at even a lower price point and these actually did really well. They have a, a three toe type design. They're easy to put on unlike some of the five toe ones. Uh, they provide you kind of with the, the balance and, and nimbleness of like a, going barefoot but yet you have that protection. Uh, they also have a cinch back right here, which allows you to be able to keep the shoe tight around your ankles so that that way you don't get any grit and uh, rocks, which ultimately is a deal breaker for me when it comes to being out on the water. Um, I need to have a good shoe that's gonna keep that stuff out. Last but not least, we have the Mariner over here. Um, the previous Mariner we saw was the XL. This here is just the standard Mariner. It is a five inch board. It's five inches thick instead of six. It's gonna have a weight capacity of 300. Uh, this board's gonna be 1199. That one will be 1299, which is the XL. Uh, and yeah, it's just kind of a little bit smaller version. And it's a, a great looking board. Uh, I actually have one that I'm gonna be taking out and testing. And uh, I already love my Performer board, as I said. That's a previous model. I think I'm gonna love this one too. So this right here is the Mariner by Body Glove. I'm currently sitting on a Yeti cooler. And some of the features on here is you have an anchor spot where you can run your anchor line through. So that's pretty handy. You got bungees here. You have, it's triple layer stringer uh, construction. You have this bottle holder here. It comes with a, uh, a nice phone case, so you can have your, uh, you know, your iPhone or your Android phone in here and you can do some filming. You got two Railblaze uh, rod holders. Here's a look at the back. There's the inflate area. That's the port for inflating. You got tie downs on the side for your cooler. And you got an ankle leash in case you fall overboard. But sitting here like this, I actually feel pretty stable. I already have one Body Glove paddleboard and the wife and I, we love it. Um, we have the Body Glove Performer. This is the Mariner, which is catered towards fishermen. And we can stand up if we want. The paddle is adjustable based on your height. So right here, I'm about 6'2". I can lock it in. And now I can get a nice long paddle stroke. And try not to run into the new canoe guy. <laughs> I'd be optimistic if I was gonna race him.
So it's a pretty stiff board. Uh, it is inflatable, but it's stiff. Uh, I actually did a test where I put this thing on sawhorses and I stood in the middle 